s'arrête, laisse passer. Arrête, on s'arrête, on s'arrête. Moi, on s'arrête. Voilà, ça va. Voilà, ça va. Voilà, ça va. Voilà, ça va. Voilà, It's in the way. Yes. Vamos. Huh? Yeah. That's the place where we ate. So pale. Yeah, tons of students. And tourists. And just only one glashutka. And bag full of souvenirs. We are on the Mars field or Mars of Apole. I have difficulty talking, uh, speaking English now. After all this Bordeaux and Gascon that I consumed. And uh, we have a bunch of souvenirs we bought five Eiffel Towers for one euro and um, I guess our bus departs we have still 45 minutes yes. people come here having a having Le Havre, le Havre. Skyscraper. Yeah, we had good time, good day in France. The six Channel Islands. Had some martyrs on them, ready for export over to England. <laughs> and as we come up, just in the lines of the ship, you we'll see the obelisk or the sundial or the liberation monument as it's called gardens. You've got on my left, you've got the Albert Marina, which is the local boats, and just behind that. Is where the fishing fleet of the island unloads its catch. The building just in front of us now used to be the old slaughterhouse, but that's now moved to better facilities somewhere else on the island. And what the boats used to do in Havlet Bay just as we come round the corner was push the animals off the side, straight up the causeway, straight into the slaughterhouse to be slaughtered, not to contaminate the local animals. And they never got a tour of the island, I'm afraid. Nice village. I hope we can meet uh, Miss Marple here somewhere. <laughs> Maybe she's busy now with a cup of tea or investigating something here. Huh? Yeah.
Chapel. That's a beauty, huh? From all ceramic. You want to write something? Yes, you do it for us. What to write? The shells. This is a beautiful spot. They're just in the hills of uh, Gurney, Guernsey Island Village. Funny thing, they have their own uh, currency here. One pound states of Guernsey. Interesting. Guernsey mushrooms. To do what? What for? Claiming something. Still trying to figure out where is Miss Marple here in this village. Nice place. Interesting climate here. And they're sort of independent state with their own currency but belong to Great Britain, United Kingdom, but not part of England, strangely. Unusual climate, unusual trees, good place to visit. That's all of you. So there we go, it's Fort Humea again, just out to our left. Heavy fortified during the occupation. And just coming up in front of us now, we've got a loophole tower. These towers were built in the late 1700s. So, I don't know if any of you have been noticing the colour of the granite nice changes we've been driving around the island. From the grey blue, to the pinky salmon colour which we're seeing now. And this signifies we're coming up towards Kobo Bay. And the granite round here is actually known as Kobo Granite because of It's a beautiful view on this small snobby island where no bombs, no crime. Okay. And uh, it's a cider and beer time. Good. 
Cider. And, uh, that's the best uh, time spending when you are abroad. We don't need any museums. We just need an easy access to alcohol, right? Yes. And I endorse it. Operator, producer, manager of the movie and uh, director. Inside the city. It's an interesting mixture of uh, French and uh, English here. And we are so... Uh, how you call it? <laughs> we are basically drunk. <laughs> Walking here. Yeah, very, very pretty. An island. And Glasha. And city. Thank you. Day 7 Approaching beautiful coast of uh, Ireland Port of Hope. 